Now, the United States and NATO allies have ruled out sending troops to Ukraine. And this comes after French President Emmanuel Macron said that sending troops to Ukraine cannot be ruled out. That made headlines all over the world. Right. And U.S. and Ukraine's biggest ally in its war against Russia says it has no plans, in fact, to send troops to fight in Ukraine. NATO allies like Germany, UK and Italy also said there is no change to the agreed position that no European country or NATO member state will send troops to Ukraine. No, the only U.S. Uh, military personnel um, that, uh, that, that, that are in Ukraine are associated with the embassy as part of the defense attache office and they're doing important work in terms of uh, helping us with the accountability of weapons and systems that are provided to Ukraine. Uh, the president's been clear there's not going to be U.S. troops on the ground in Ukraine. NATO chief Jan Stoltenberg also denied considering sending troops to Ukraine. However, Stoltenberg insisted that the military alliance will continue to support Ukraine. Earlier, Macron hinted at the possibility of sending troops to Ukraine. He said nothing can be ruled out. And this was after a meeting with European leaders in Paris that aimed to send Moscow a strong message of Western resolve over support for Kiev. Now, the leaders in Paris discussed the formation of a new coalition to supply Ukraine with missiles and bombs of medium and long range. La priorité des priorités est la question des munitions. Everything was discussed in a free and direct manner tonight. There was no consensus today to send troops onto the ground in a manner that's official, assumed and endorsed. But on the dynamic, nothing should be excluded. We will do everything so that Russia cannot win this war. Au bout des stocks qui sont encore disponibles, à identifier les pays... Now, the Kremlin also warned that conflict between Russia and the U.S.-led NATO military alliance would become inevitable if European members of NATO troops fight in Ukraine. Meanwhile, in Washington, U.S. President Joe Biden held one of the most intense meetings in the Oval Office. Well, that's of course according to Senate Democratic Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Now, the meeting was over the crucial Ukraine aid that is facing an uphill task in the U.S. Congress, especially the House of Representatives. Biden has urged the lawmakers to approve the $95 billion package, which includes $60 billion for Ukraine.